Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Karin Avetisian. For more information about me, you can visit my website at beekeepingservices.com. You can subscribe my channel to get updated for daily videos of beekeeping. Also, you can leave your questions in the comment section and I'll uh, come back with your questions in my future videos. Today, I want to talk about the different effects of using epigard and oxalic acid for varroa treatment. Some beekeepers are still not sure which one to apply to achieve better results. One thing is for sure, epigard and oxalic acid are better to use in autumn time when the brood is going down in honeybee colonies and the outside temperature is above 59 Fahrenheit. Namely, the colony is still active. Epigard is a thymol-based medication in a gel that can sometimes make the queen stop egg-laying for a short period of time and that is not what is needed in early spring. The colony needs to be growing, that's why we want to avoid applying this medication in springtime. As to oxalic acid, it doesn't work well for open and kept brood. It works well if the mites are already on the bees. But that is the last stage of varroa circle. And we want to prevent it by breaking their production cycle. Ok, how to use Epigard? Peel back the lid of the tray and place gel side up on the top of the brood frames. If you have two and more deep boxes or supers, depends on the brood frame's location, you can embed the tray between the boxes. The second dose should be applied after two weeks are passed. It is better to finish feeding before applying Epigard in late autumn, even though the colony is enough strong to take both the medication and syrup. The leather stimulates the queen lay eggs and therefore the population of varroa mites goes up in the hives. Thus, feeding and treatment together is not recommended in this time of the year. When you apply the medication, try to not open hives for 7 days at least and close up open mesh floors. In this case, the effectiveness will be higher. Even if the bees have cleaned all the gel within several days, you do not need to use the second dose unless two weeks are over. The thymol, although not in the tray, is active throughout the colony during this time, having been carried around by the cleaning bees. Currently, varroa mites do not have a resistance against thymol. The latter disrupts cell membranes and affects all cellular processes. It is a very general mode of action rather than being highly specific. It should be more difficult for the varroa mite to change all of its body functions to become resistant to thymol. Some beekeepers think that they can apply thymol instead of epigard. Autumn time, in cold conditions, the thymol crystals do not sublime quickly enough and the mites are not controlled, but in hot conditions, thymol crystals will sublime too quickly, shocking the bees into absconding and often killing bee brood. This is why Epigard was developed in a gel to give a slow release system for the thymol allowing bees to acclimatize to a th low thymol concentration before gradually building up to mite lethal level. You can use both epigard and oxalic acid in organic beekeeping as well. The oxalic acid gas compared to epigard will increase the humidity of the hive and we want to avoid get higher moisture because these hives incline to be vulnerable of the dampness due to feeding recently or overfeeding recently or because the winter is ahead and the moisture in cold weather is not conducive to bee health. 
Besides, oxalic acid doesn't kill the mites which are on the brood, though the brood is not much. Epicard works more effectively than oxalic acid. It helps for integrated pest management. That is, in late autumn your bees are still active. Of course, depends on your location. If your bees meet another bees outside the hive, rural mite can jump onto your bees from another bees and come into your hive. If you have applied Epigard, that will work, because thymol remains in the hive longer. If you have applied oxalic acid, it would hardly work. So my recommendation is, if your bees are still actively flying in late autumn, you had better use Epigard to avoid increasing the level of humidity in the hives before winter comes. The extra humidity in this time of the year can bring to manifestation of nosema, gut issues, and therefore low immune bees. I understand that it is more expensive to buy Epigard, but especially if you have had late feeding in the autumn, it helps to avoid having more problems with your bees. This is all for today. I hope this information was useful, especially for the beekeepers who had happened to do late feeding. Subscribe my channel to have daily updates on beekeeping. Thank you for watching. Thank you.